Australia's most famous butcher, Anthony Baharic, is here to cook me steak. I love steak. We all love steak. <laughs> we're, we're Australians. Um, we were raised on steak. We're one of the biggest consumers of meat in the world. So, um, wow. yeah, everybody loves it. So this is definitely a tofu-free afternoon on Everyday Gourmet. I'm OK with that. <laughs> I'm OK with that. And it's not just any steak you've brought in. No, we've got a beautiful uh, centre-cut piece of prime eye fillet or tenderloin. This is one of my favourite sort of dishes for a couple of reasons. Um, it's quite sentimental and nostalgic for me. Right. Uh, it was the first dish that I cooked for my wife. Oh. Uh, when, when, when we were first sort of uh, dating and courting. I remember as a young kid, this was a bit of a treat for us when we used to go to the restaurant, my parents' restaurant and eat and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So um, it definitely is. It's as a restaurant a dish, but you can make it at home. So if you want to impress someone, this is what you need to make. Yeah, and it is easy. It's sort of a bit of a one pan sort of yep. dish. It sounds a bit hard uh, and tricky and very chefy, but if a butcher can do it, anybody can do it. So all I'm doing here is making these incisions sort of three quarters of the way through right. the eye fillet. Yeah, so it looks like you're going all the way through and you've got two pieces, but you're doing it as no, one piece. No, one piece that we sort of butterfly open. Yep. And then we've got this meat mallet here. Okay. So we'll grab a bit of cling film. Yep. And all you're doing is sort of lightly bashing it out just so that it's all sort of one continuous um, sort of thickness throughout. Yep. And that'll just make it really easier and much nicer to sort of um, to yeah. pan fry. Now, when you're pan frying, how do you like to serve your fillet of beef with this? Medium rare is always the best way to sort of enjoy steak mm -hmm. and beef. It's the best sort of eating experience. It's when it's the most juiciest, the most tender. Mm. Um, so definitely medium rare is the way to go. You've travelled around the world, uh, you know, researching meat, Australian beef. It's the best in the world, yep. unquestionably. Um, obviously, I'm very passionate about our industry. I'm very passionate and being a, 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 you know, a long-time supporter of our amazing sort of um, farmers and producers. They're the hardest working and the best farmers and producers in the world. And our meat is the cleanest, greenest, safest, most consistent and best quality meat in the world. And I can say that hand on heart and safely because I have. I've, I'm obsessed with what I do. I'm obsessed with uh, butchery and meat and, and that's taken me all around the world. So I've, I've, I've had the opportunity to eat all around the world and meet all the butchers and all the chefs and all that sort of stuff. And um, it is nice to come home and know that we've got all of these great producers yeah. and, and, and farmers. Fantastic. Okay, these are now done. Yep. And we've got this uh, very hot pan. Yep. So the secret with cooking meat in a pan is if it's a relatively thin piece of meat, you want it to be really hot. Yeah. Because uh, you're not going to be grilling it for too long. So really, really nice and hot. And the other, you want to hear that sizzle? Beautiful. That's a good sign. A little bit more olive oil, never goes astray. Mm. You don't want to overcrowd the pan either, you know what I mean? So you can do this in batches. Mm, we're not making um, a stew here. Yeah. So lots of flash frying happening. You know, season, bit of salt. Yep, always. And maybe um, you can get onto that stock also. So a couple of those beef, beef stock, yeah? Okay. So just some warm water, beef cubes. Now this sauce, it, it's really robust in it. There's loads of flavours. There's Worcestershire in yeah. it, Dijon mustard. And garlic. I, I'm a, I'm a, I love my garlic. You can really sort of dial it up and dial it down depending on how much you like garlic or don't like garlic. We've got a bit of Tabasco there also, yes. so nice and spicy. Of course. And just dissolving that. It's one of the great classic sauces, steak sauces, yeah. uh, and one of my favourites. You've got a few butchers, but the most famous ones and I absolutely adore, it's just like being a kid in a candy store, Victor Churchill, not only in Sydney but in Melbourne, you've actually got a restaurant in the butcher where you can go and enjoy a steak with Diane sauce. Yeah, that's right. I mean, um, yeah, Victor Churchill is something that the whole family is very proud of, obviously. The original store in Sydney, it's the oldest continuously run butcher shop in Australia, which is amazing. It was first established in 1876, so um, yeah. we're the fourth owners of that store, which is amazing. I mean, if, if a butcher can't do a good steak, there's something wrong, right? Okay, so this last piece is done, Justine. Yep. And now it's time for those beautifully diced echelots. A little bit more olive oil. And it goes. And what we're going to do here is just sort of sweat them off. 
Yeah, and you want to give them a bit of colour because that's going to really enhance the meatiness of the, the sauce. Yeah, and give it a bit more flavour. Yeah. And now for some cognac. Yes. So we're going to deglaze. Obviously, you can use any liquid to deglaze a pan. Yeah. Um, but this is a deluxe mm. version, so we're using um, Woo! Whoa. <laughs> a bit of fireworks. Jeez, now he's really showing off, huh? <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of cognac in there, yeah, as you can see. Yeah, there's a lot of well, This won't take long, so um, we're burning off the alcohol. And the smell of that, isn't it? Just yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. The beginning of a wonderful sauce, <laughs> for sure. Yep. So that cognac's now burnt off. Yep. Um, so a bit of Dijon mustard. Yes. So you add that to the pan mm -hmm. and then some wish to see You love saying there. that word, Yeah, you? I'm, I, I get tripped up on that word all the time. <laughs> it takes me forever to practice that one. <laughs> and Tabasco. So this all depends on, I suppose, uh, you know, how hot spicy you want your, your steak Diane sauce. Mm -hmm. um, but I generally sort of put about six nice um, splashes yep. in there. I'm OK with that. Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess the stock goes in. We're going to bring that to the boil and then add some cream. That's it. Okay, I think this is ready, Justine. Looks so good. Glossy sauce, perfect thickness. Not so, too thin, not too thick, the yeah, sauce. just right. Mm -hmm. So what I do is uh, I put the meat back into the yes. sauce. Yeah. And you've got these beautiful pan juices oh. also um, that are perfect. Yeah, you never want to waste that, right? Yeah. So that, just tip them straight in there. That's all the goodness. Yep. It would be a crime to just let that sit there. You've yeah. got to use it all up. Because that, that, they're all the beautiful juices that yeah. the meat sort of releases when it rests. Yeah, absolutely. And we've now just taken this off the heat. We're just finishing it off in that sauce. Yeah, just warming it up. Yeah, beautiful. I think we're ready. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Pretty Hungry? good. I'm salivating here. <laughs> this is like my kind of food. I love it. Nice big steak there. There you go. Yeah. A little bit of sauce. Anthony, please, a little bit of sauce. Pile it on. I love this sauce. And those beautiful um, chopped parsley over the top. Okay, a little sprinkle. And that served with some sautéed spinach, <laughs> some potatoes. Oh, look at these chippies. It's just a butcher's recipe, like, yes. from A to Z. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with this. I think we should have a taste. Yeah, definitely. All right. Let's see if I've uh, nailed the cooking of this meat. All right. Here we go this side. Look, it cuts just like butter. Oh, yes. Perfectly cooked. No wonder why your wife married you. No wonder, huh? Mm -hmm. You yeah. cooked her that. There's the secret the right secret. there. <laughs> the secret's right there. Steak Diane, you want to impress someone? Like I said, make them this. It is a standout dish and it never gets old. Cheers, Anthony. Thank you, Justine. Mm -hmm.